Alexis is currently being held in Pentonville, even though she was not the one who shot John Jagger Cates. However, those who love her understand that Alexis is a victim of circumstance, wrongfully implicated in the tragic death of the FBI agent. Meanwhile, Martin Gray, her tenacious lawyer, delves into the murky realities of the case. His investigation leads him to the questionable alibi of Sonny, a man of many faces. Martin suspects that the very fabric of the alibi is woven with lies intended to protect those in power, particularly in light of the tangled history involving Carson. In a desperate bid to turn the tide, Sam embarks on her own investigation. She submerges herself in the water, seeking the abandoned weapon tied to that fateful night, the gun that will perhaps exonerate her mother. Until now, she has not found it. Although bringing Alexis home is not easy, there is still hope for her. The layers of intrigue deepen when the Port Charles Police Department, led by the ever-resourceful Anna Devane, receives a mysterious package. Inside lies the very gun Sam has been feverishly hunting for, now thrust into the center of the investigation that could either clear Alexis's name or serve as the final nail in her coffin. Questions loom over the origins of the package, who sent it, and why. Many suspect that Brennan might be the source. While he doesn't have a vested interest in proving Alexis' innocence, his role in the community as a fixer and confidant of Carly cannot be ignored. His motivations seem to intertwine fearlessly with his affection for Carly. At the same time, there is another layer to his motivations. Over a month ago, he had encouraged Jason to consider a position with the WSB. However, Jason had turned down the opportunity by freeing Donna's mother from the legal troubles she faces. Brennan could not only foster goodwill with her, but also earn the trust and respect of Jason. Harley's freedom has always been one of Jason's priorities, right? What do you think about Brennan's move? <laughs>